Well, Dan, it got started in the afternoon yesterday at this house here on the 1200 block of the of 8th Street. They were out here doing a probation search and things really got wild. It lasted all the way until two this morning. I heard another bang explosion type of thing. I'm not really sure what it was. Um, it didn't it didn't sound like a gunshot. It sounded like a, a bang type of thing. Elsie Gilroy says he didn't know what was going on on his street on Wednesday. This quiet street ended up being evacuated. It was covered with police vehicles and it all stems from this house. Monterey police were doing a probation search at the home Wednesday afternoon when they found what looked like a grenade. The bomb squad came out and blew it up. It would be the first of many. So we found eight um, what appeared to be hand grenades that were actually what you'd call um, practice grenades, so they look and feel just like a real grenade, but they lack the explosive capabilities. Several hours later, police returned with a search warrant and found 112 firearms, including two assault rifles, explosives making material, methamphetamine, and lots of ammunition. This woman, Paula Roman, was arrested along with another man who lived at the home, John Panetta. Police are trying to figure out why the two had so many dangerous items. That's what we're trying to determine. Uh, we obviously have a large quantity of firearms and other evidence, and we're trying to track down where these items came from, what is the reasoning behind them, and you know, is there a legitimate reason for possessing you know, this quantity of firearms. Police say at this point they don't think that either of the two people who were arrested had any gang ties, and they don't think that they were planning any sort of violent acts. Dan? All right, thank you very much, Caitlin. Roman has prior arrests for being a felon in possession of a firearm as well as narcotics.